Hey guys, Ethan here with Terminal.com and today we're going to talk about how to use the Eclipse IDE to connect and edit your, uh, your terminals from your local machine. So, pretty quick process. A couple of things you'll need before you get started. You'll need to make sure that your local machine is set up with SSH keys and that you've registered those SSH keys in your terminal user account. You'll also need to make sure that you have Eclipse downloaded. And, uh, and preferably running because it speeds things up. Um, if you don't have either of those things, be sure to check out the blog post that we've written on this subject. I'll link to it in the description to this video and uh, you'll find links to do uh, both right at the top of the article. The other thing you're going to need is a terminal that you want to connect to and in this case it's got to be one that you can SSH into as well. So this is a standard Ubuntu 14.04 server and the only thing that I've done to modify it is I've made sure that my SSH keys are uh, here on the, on, on the terminal which again that's a process that's covered uh, in the SSH post that we wrote linked to in the article which I'll link to in this video. So you can find all the information you need to get started. Once you have those things uh, we're going to jump right into the connection. So Eclipse is a pretty cool tool offers a lot of different connection protocols, SSH, FTP, others, but one thing that it doesn't let you do is use the proxy command uh, feature, and that's something that we need. So we need to create a workaround for this, and we're going to do that by using our local terminal or our local command line on our machine to uh, port a tunnel between um, our machine and our terminal. And so the command to do this is in the blog post, but very simply it is ssh-c, and then we want the root at, I'm going to type my terminal identifier, which is found in the URL of the terminal that you're trying to connect to. So in this case, it's ethanbrooks121. So ethanbrooks121 dot terminal dot com. And then we use capital L. And then this is a three-part little uh, add-on here. The first part is the port on our local machine that we want to connect. So we we'll use 2222, colon, our terminal identifier. So Ethan Brooks 121, colon, and then the port on the terminal that we want to connect to. So in this case, 22. And then just hit enter. So we've got this uh, connection open. And as long as this is open, we're going to be able to uh, use Eclipse and connect through to our terminal. So the next step is to jump on over to Eclipse and get started with the connection there. So this is Eclipse. Uh, now, if you've just downloaded this, the first thing you're going to have to do is install this uh, Remote System Explorer add-on. And the way you can do this is by going to Help, and then Eclipse Marketplace. And in there, you'll be able to search for Remote System Explorer, and there'll be an Install button next to the package that you're looking for. And again, there's photos and information on how to do this on the blog post. Um, after you install it, it will ask you to restart Eclipse. And once you've restarted Eclipse, the next thing you have to do is just open up this tab so that you can see it visibly and you'll do that by going to window open perspective and then you'll see that mine is listed here but if yours isn't listed there just click other and remote system explorer and click OK so that will give you access to this window here and the way we're going to set up a new connection is by clicking on this icon on the far left now we want to choose SSH only, hit next. We want to make sure the host name is localhost, connection name, just give it a name, so I'm going to call it Eclipse Test, and then I'm going to just describe it, connection to my terminal. Click finish. Okay, so this is our connection setup. Now before we can actually connect, we need to do one thing. We need to modify the port because we've now uh, 
built that tunnel and we want to access our terminal through that tunnel. So in order to do this, we need to pull up the properties tab and you can do that by clicking window, show view properties. This little tab that opens up down here. All we want to do is come down and click on port and change 22 to 2222. Just click out and it will save. So we've got our new port there. And then all we have to do is just right click on SSH shells and connect. Now, this is important. So you'll see it kind of gives me this user ID here and that's automatically generated. You want to enter the user ID of the user on the terminal that you want to connect to. So since mine is a brand new terminal, the only user I have there is root and I'm going to connect using root. I haven't even reset the password, so I'm not even going to bother with the password. Uh, but if you have another username or you're not connecting to root, you want to make sure that you are filling in the correct user information. Otherwise, it's going to, it's going to keep you locked out. So go ahead and fill in your new user information and then click OK. And you'll see we are now connected. And here's all of our files and directories on the uh, on that terminal. So, guys, I hope this was helpful. Feel free to get in touch, comment, tell us what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want to see. And uh, until next time, thanks for checking us out. Get out there and make something awesome.